I notice there are no B batteries, because right from A to C, I think that's to avoid confusion. So if there were B batteries, we know when somebody wanted them or just had a stutter. Can I help you? Yes, I would like some B batteries. Sure, what kind? B batteries. Right, what kind? B batteries, d Alkaline, but batteries. Batteries are used to power everything from your CD player to your toothbrush, your radio controlled monster truck, your camera, your little brother, your boombox, your clock, and even your hate and your peace. But how do the batteries work? Well, it all starts with a little can. Then manganese, ma manganese dioxide powder is molded into the inside of the empty can as the cathode. A separator is then inserted. Before zinc powder, the anode is dumped in. It's all topped off with a healthy serving of electrolytes, in this case potassium hydroxide. A brass pin is then shoved in the middle of the battery to allow electricity to flow. It's then capped off and you have your battery. Some chemical reactions begin to take place once the electrolyte is added. The zinc and the manganese dioxide oxidize, causing the electrons to flow from the cathode to the anode. This creates an electrical potential of typically 1.5 volts to build up in the battery. Once the electrons have reached the anode, electricity is able to power things such as light bulbs. But over time, the batteries run out. Dun dun dun. Due to the over-oxidation of the cathode and the anode, electricity quits flowing. Because oxidation was all like, oh baby, hell no. And electrons were all like, say what? Then it died. So now, when you're holding your little brother down and force him to lick the end of a battery, you'll know why it tastes so bad. One, two, three, five! Let's go!